Hey everyone, Chef Jeff here. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. Uh, today's recipe is also going to be posted on chefjeff.ca. Uh, come down and take a look at the website. Lots of uh, recipes there from my former videos and so forth. But all right, so if you want to think like a chef, you really got to take a moment and celebrate your regional cuisine. So like, I'm from Toronto and we're going to make the ultimate uh, female sandwich and it is just true Toronto food. Um, back in the day, Toronto used to be called Hogtown, and for the reason that is, uh, the whole lakeshore, you know, around the turn of the century was all hog farms, lots of pig farms and so forth, so after a while, we produced a lot of pork, hence, uh, the, the name Hogtown. So, female sandwiches is a super Canadian, super Toronto thing, and it's basically, uh, we're gonna make our own female. We're gonna make this giant female sandwich with cheddar and, and tomatoes and some mustard and so forth. But first things first, uh, we're gonna prepare female from scratch. And uh, to talk a little bit about female, it's um, it's pork loin that's been removed from the uh, the back ribs. And if you've ever to basically um, explain it best, if you ever had a pork chop, you got the rib right here, and then you got that big center piece in the middle that's just around the rib. That's your pork loin. <laughs> So we got this big pork loin here, and I got it from the uh, from the butcher, and it's been sweet pickled ahead of time. Uh, you don't have to get your pre-made uh, female, you can just use a pork loin straight up. Um, but moving forward here, what we're gonna do traditionally, uh, female bacon is rolled in um, uh, cornmeal, but we're gonna be using uh, our own homemade dusting, I'll explain in a moment here. But first things first, we're gonna score the, the fatty uh, side here. So we're just gonna, Get a really nice sharp knife and pierce that fatty skin. Just like so. Great. So what I got here is a spice blend that I was talking about that replaces the cornmeal and it is two tablespoons of um, dry Keen's mustard, two tablespoons of um, garlic powder and salt and pepper and that's it. So we'll start with the bottom, because we're gonna roast this thing with the skin up, and just work that in. Get the sides. Oh, I'm already getting dirty hands. Great. And we're gonna get the top. Perfect. So you may have seen I'm a big believer in uh, cooking with beer, so I got some Henderson's Best uh, brown ale here, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill up our, our, our roasting dish with about a cup of beer. This is just gonna give it a nice little beer flavor. Perfect. Still dirty hands. And uh, this wouldn't be Canadian style cooking with a little bit of uh, maple syrup, and we're just gonna douse our, uh, our pork loin full of maple syrup and just kind of work that in. This is about two tablespoons of, uh, maybe even a little bit more. Perfect, all right. I've got my, um, my oven preheated to 425. We're gonna roast this thing off for about an hour. Uh, I'm gonna cover it for the first 30 minutes. And uh, in the second 30 minutes, I'm gonna remove the cover and we're gonna crisp up that, uh, that skin. Look at that gorgeous hunk of hog, guys. And I gotta tell you, it smells spectacular. You're getting that, that beer flavor. There's all of that uh, maple syrup is really coming through. And uh, we're just we're gonna start building our plate here. because really, it's just a female sandwich. And this is going to be a tribute to the uh, female sandwich that you get in uh, St. Lawrence Market. It's an institution here in the city. And it's literally just uh, slices of female with some cheddar cheese and uh, tomato and mustard, that's it. So this is kind of an upmarket version of it. Uh, so we've made our own female. And, uh, but first things first, let's just slice into this thing. And this, this piece right here is always the best. It's just the end piece here. Mm. Oh yeah, all those flavors are really coming through. But we're gonna cut this thing into nice thick slices. And uh, as a reminder, when we're roasting pork, you just need to bring it to uh, 140 degrees. Anything more, it's just gonna overcook. But oh yeah, just see all the steam coming up and just the smell that's really uh, coming through here is just, just incredible. You're getting the beer and the maple syrup and I'm just a really happy guy right now. We're at dirty hands again. So we're just gonna build this thing. The real uh, kind of basics to this is 
We're not making any kind of fancy mustard. We're just using classic French's yellow mustard on the bottom here. A little bit of that. Some nice uh, beefsteak uh, tomatoes. Probably should have, uh, and always season your tomatoes. I'm just a big believer in that. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And there you go. And we're just gonna start layering in our uh, beautiful homemade female bacon. So this is Canadian Balderson's smoked uh, cheddar, and it is just gonna give that really nice smoke flavor. And we're just, we're making it just a giant piece here. Three huge hunks of female bacon. All right, moving on. Left over from one of my other videos is this apple fig jam. And I'll put up a card uh, that'll link to this uh, apple fig jam as well. And as you know, pork and apples, they just go so well together. So we're putting that on the top. Uh, we are gonna add some of my pickled vegetables as well. I probably should have gotten these separated in the first place, but that's all right. And again, this is from a, a former video as well, the quick pickle anything video. This is gonna add a really good um, kind of acidic and a bit of a crunch to it as well. We're just gonna go like this. Cut this thing right in half. Hey, where do you think you're going? All right. Look at that, look at that. That's a monstrosity of a sandwich right there. And you know what? I think my camera lady here is really gonna help me finish this thing off. Okay. Put these little picky in here. All right, so I finished off the Henderson's Best as I was waiting for an hour here. So we're moving on to a different kind of craft beer. This is uh, India Ale House uh, uh, Save Word. It's a crunchy IPA. It'll go really, really well with uh, this like monstrosity of a sandwich. All right, guys. So for my kitchen and yours, bon appetit.